Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35 Cards. We're today, a couple of days after release, but that's okay. Opening up a box of Alan Ginter. And uh, just quick, not my favorite uh, card to open. I love how beautiful the cards are. Love them. Hate the minis and hate the non-baseball cards. It drives me crazy. And uh, there's going to be three hits in it. Most likely it's going to be material cards. So let's take a look and see what I got. Like I said, we're going to be going over 2019 Alan Um, I believe it came out a couple days ago. I uh, actually just got it today delivered to me this morning. I think it came out Wednesday. This is Friday. And uh, actually, I just woke up and I was outside. I got to go to work tonight, but I thought I'd rip this open real quick before I go in and share it with y'all. And now there's going to be three most likely relic cards but there is a chance for autos uh, rip cards which are cards inside the card and which are very hard to get I've never I've never gotten one um, printing plates and book cards so it'll be uh, three three any of those three in there most likely relic cards and my problem with this, it'll probably be nine. One will at least be nine baseball related. I, I not a. This is not my favorite product. I love the baseball cards. My problem is with the minis and nine baseball cards. So I have a top loader here. No, oh, they call it a box loader. And I really do love the look of this product. Uh, again, I collect baseball cards. The other stuff, the pop, the just the other stuff, I'm uh, really not excited about. And some of that can be uh, kind of sought after stuff, or short prints, and things like that. And I've gotten some autos of nine baseball ones in the past. That just doesn't float my boat I uh, like I said I really love every year I mean these the look of these cards are very nice and you're gonna because it's an older style you're gonna get quite a few here's my first mini and it's a non baseball mini inserts I haven't really seen any box openings except some of the hits and baseball star signs so and it looks like it's very hard to get autographs in this product this year and i got kind of i'm just going to fill these up back here with some of the better cards that i get just my like i said i kind of set up kind of fast because i got to go to work in a little while uh later on tonight buster posey and who is this jay larson I'm just not into the pop culture cards. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand that. I never really got that with this product. If somebody knows why they do that with this product, nice to grow them. Now, a lot of people like to get these auto, and I can see why. It's a lot of space, and just the look of it's really nice. That The red ink autos really look good, or the really, like, blue or orange. I'm just trying. I got minis, and I hate these minis. They're so hard to store. 
I've been just going ahead and uh, penny sleeving them just so they're easy they don't fall around and slide out of stacks and I can keep them with I'm a player collector so this will be easier for me to put it with the one guns so <clears throat> Christian Yelich I'm sorry. I, I just I don't <laughs> just just not into that, and that's and this is what keeps me from buying this product like in retail. This will probably be the only box I get. Um, I haven't been buying. I haven't got any multiple boxes this year. Anyway, I mean I will when I get to the national here. Two weeks and I'll be there, so we can stop talking about it then. The other Seeger. Randy Johnson, Michael Brantley. Oh, I've never seen that card before. That style. History of Flight. Okay. It might be. Is that the first Dozier card I've seen in a Nats uniform? So I, I really do like the look of these. The, these are ones I pick up singles or uh, I do look for the autos of the players. Clayton Kershaw. What is this? What's that? Oh, Ginter Greats. Nice insert. Got my first hit. Oh, nice. Nice hit. I'll take that. A Buster Posey material. I like how they, I always like the frame cards. Uh, this was not numbered. And I have to look at these backs because I, I noticed this year they're doing non numberings on the back. And you also got like this here an Allen Ginter back, which is different from the other backs. That's numbered. Just thought of that. So Buster Posey, first hit. Really nice there. Like some Buster. I just don't know how much more he's got behind the plate. So that's my first hit. I'm just glad it's baseball. Yeah, this product I would be so hyped up about. Um, that's why I really like Gypsy Queen because it's kind of the same way, but with like the minis and the non base with the. It's all baseball. They used to have the minis in them, but. Turner, Carrera, Scherzer, Posada. I noticed they got a lot of older players with the Allen Ginter back. Be poppy and I gotta look at all these backs too because some of them be will be different uh, in years past I have not looked this year to see what the differences are this year uh, it will have some no names on the front I believe but they I don't think this set has like a lot of crazy like alternative stuff like Gypsy Queen or Heritage. At least Heritage now, you know, they, they got the things on the back. Dan Rather. Ooh, Carlton Fisk. And they do these black borders. And a lot of times, one or two of these will be like short printed or hard to find, and people know prices go up because people try to set that those sets. I know in years past, I think it was hats, and first ladies were kind of because I got those top loaded and everything because they're actually kind of pricey. And 
Prime Dog. Zena, another one of his flights. Garrick, Dasby Swanson. I'm so happy with that Buster after kind of saying I'll probably get something with nine baseball. Not only did I get one baseball, I kind of get nine, not a PC, but one I definitely hang on to when I run into him. Uh, I just like his way, I like him on and off the field. He's a very good guy. Also, my nephew's favorite player. So, Sandberg, all these guys are chipper. Favorite Brave, if I gotta have one. You know, I like Dasby Swanson. I kind of. I would still be looking. Dazzy Swans is another one. He's not a PC, but I definitely hang on to him when I get him. I'll even pick him up in the cheap boxes when I find him. Probably out. Harper. I like this baseball star signs. It's a cool little insert. Another chipper. So far, it's only been one or two packs for multiple nine baseball. I mean, I, in the past, I opened up packs and be only with one baseball card in there. Vlad, right on the top. Neo Dio, Stargell. AJ Andrew, softball player. All right. There you got it. Egg. Okay. Why is there an egg card? We gotta get milk or bacon. Hoskins, Tatis, the other great rookie. Quite a few of them this year. Looks like there's quite a few every year. In a couple years, cream rises to the top. League figures them out. Mm. Is it just me or is there a bad glare on Buster? Eh, it's a little bit better. I have lighting and stuff. I just haven't fooled with the last few. I'm trying to see if there's much of a difference. Collectible canines. Cow. Oh, here's my next hit. Nice. All right. All right. Good. Two for two for the baseball hits. Chris Sale. Poor playing patches, but you know, for being a, it's a hobby box, but I've explained before, it's something you can pick up in retail, so it's not going to be one of your higher end products, so I'm not expecting too much flash, um, but it just seems kind of random anyway, if how good the patches look. Vlad, he's. We just set that one off to the side. Kind of pack warm myself here. I might have to take back a little bit because it hasn't been overwhelming with the uh, with non-baseball stuff. So maybe you know it's gotten a little bit better. Just when I buy a pack of baseball cards, I want baseball cards. Ah, Tony Gwynn. Thinking about getting a box of 83 
Opeachy. Price is a little bit high on it, but it's about right, but still. <sighs> Try to get that 10 ton wind color for 30 grand or whatever it went for. Can't believe that, but. Mark McGuire. What is this? Lost Languages. Martha's Vineyard Sign Language. Okay. I just, that just doesn't do anything for me. Wondering if we can go three for three on material hits. That'd be great. Harper. Turner. Oh, Sandy Koufax. With the AG back. Nice. Gloria. What the? Vincent Steo, while most Oh, that's the kid that dresses up like an umpire goes in to the games, I guess. The kid that was a coach, that was pretty funny. Throw out a pitch and all 30. I don't know why she got to do that, but Andy Pettit, Morris Wagner, Roger Clemens in a Blue Jay uniform. Wow, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a card from the past of Roger Clemens that was not a Yankee. Red Sox, and you'll get some Astros, but Blue Jays? Huh, that's pretty cool. Way to go, way to go, Tops. That's, I like the different stuff. Well, this one feels like a hit. I'm trying to wonder, pack searching in retail, because these, the, they're a little bit thicker than a regular Clemens. Fred McGriff with the black, Chris Bryant, and somebody else. <coughs> Harold Baines, now he's a Hall of Famer, gets to be put in these throwback cards. Still kind of scratching my head for that one. I don't. I might start getting starting that one line of push for Dale Murphy. I, as much. I mean, I know. I, I remember watching Harold Baines. Harold Baines was great, but I mean, Dale Murphy to me should have been voted in to begin with. Um, and he's not. And he's gonna probably have to take the same way that Harold Baines got in. Another one of those flights. Those stick out like a sore thumb. Yes. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get this till tomorrow or Monday. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this video for till Monday. So I work all weekend. back for that one. Oh, here's my hit and guess what it is a non-baseball this is drives me crazy P. Alonzo rookie card that's, 
had his now in series two they got his rookie card I believe and it's not the Bowman this year has him as a prospect so here's my other hit if you want to call it that and people you know you talk to oh you got you'll be surprised if you know one of those how much they go for yeah I guess so <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> for me, I'm a baseball card collector, not, you know. Everyone, every once in a while, was it Champion, Goodwins, or whatever, I'll pick a box of that up in the off season. Burton Rocks. I don't know who he is. So those are my three hits and I think in this one they don't really do alternate prints or you know co uh, colors or numbers now that I'm th thinking about it electric train chugging along Carlton Fisk, Beltre I think one year one of the subsets were like founding fathers and another one was presidents. I kind of enjoyed those. <laughs> I think founding fathers actually tried to collect those. Stanton. Frank Thomas, PC, and it's an AG. Rosario. So nice, I got Frankie, I got Frank Thomas, I got uh, Kyle Ripken, I'm sure they got a bench, I'm sure they got Griffey, that would round date from a PC. I don't have a Syndergaarden, Conforto, I haven't seen that one for my Mets players, or McNeil, DeJong, I'm going to go back. Albies. Oh, Gary Carter, definitely for my PC. I didn't even know he would be on here. Wow. Nice. That's a PSA. I'm trying to see. It looks kind of all centered. It's just hard to tell with these cards, which that's perfect. The only way you can really tell is by the names on the bottom. Uh, man, it looks good gosh that would look great in a PSA and you know what I gotta put that on my list of cards that I have I, I might try to pick up some more of those Robles I like that that's a pretty cool pick incredible equipment Pio is that Pio's Pesos Pico's Pico Bills Lasso and look can Canseco with the Rays. Here we go with some other. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised the Ridgy Jackson. I think that was in the Angels. Why well, was it at in the Orioles? Because he was one year with them. So, why? I mean, if you're going to go with the oddball teams. Nice. Nice. Because I think that with uh, another one I noticed was like they have Nolan Ryan. No, not Nolan Ryan. Tom Seaver, I think. It's either. No, it is Nolan Ryan. I saw in a break. They have one autograph, one style of autograph with the, with the Astros, I believe, and another one with the Rangers. And I uh, haven't seen that before either in a set where they have ex-ball players with two different teams. Be cool like to have somebody like Ricky Henderson where they make up one with every team he's on. Schwartz. I think that's that actor is kind of a smart ass. Robinson, I think he was on the ones. So there you have it. Uh, I got sale. And all these are non numbered. They do have number. Most of the time they're hand, hand printed numbers. Posey. 
and Burton Rocks. Hope Burton don't watch my video because it's kind of doggy. So that's it for those. Like I said, love the look of the card. Um, I did get three of the bigger rookies. Vlad, Alonzo, Tatis. So I'm happy with that. Um, I did get my main man, Carter. Uh, what else there's there to say? I really like the couple of inserts. Uh, these, these were kind of plain, but I do like them that way. Uh, you know, and then the, what is it? The, uh, should have kept one out with the uh, Frankie Lindor or Kershaw. There it is, Michael Trout. Baseball star signs. Really like that. I don't think I got his base card out of all these. So it must be a pretty good size set. Usually they're like 440 or somewhere like that with this set, I do believe. Um, so, again, don't know if I'll pick up another box because it's not, uh, it is not a auto-driven box. It's more memorabilia. I think there's only like two or three autos per case. So if you're looking to buy a box to get the autos, I would, you know, mm, at the uh, high 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 risk and minimal minimal reward I think because the only autos that really fetch good are like the red autos that are hand numbered. So when you hit one of those, you, you'll guess get something out of them. But I haven't seen anything that great. But for the look of cards, and you're looking for cards for autos uh, to to do in person autos or TTMs uh, or just collect these look great in a binder um, if you set collecting it's a great set to collect uh, but other than that uh, if you're looking for the autos this is not 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 the package you're looking for so um, oh again I almost forgot again the top loader the box loader And this month they're just coming out, I think, in this week's either tribute or something like that on the 24th, if I remember correctly. I was looking at it last night. Yeah, Tops Tributes on the 24th, and the 31st is Chrome. So heavy head every week there's a box coming out or you know, flavor. So cabinet box, congratulations, you ever see the cabinet box. Oh, Landor. And I do like these top loaders. So Francisco Lindor, very nice portrait, very nice. All right, so please like, share, comment. I'll see y'all in a couple weeks. I'll, I'll be getting a tribute hopefully before I take off for the national. Probably at the national, I'll pick up the. Uh, a jumbo of chrome because I'm sure that'll be the one of the ones you can get the tops cards out of uh, the special tops national cards which everybody's looking for so with that till I see you again get those cards out get to your local CS and uh, get to ripping see ya